What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Spirit Baby Kill. And we back with another timeless message. Nine times out of ten, if you hear right now, this message probably meant for you. So take a resonate, leave the rest out, everything for the highest good and the harm and none, no deception, no trickery. Let's dive right into it. I got my my little twin in the back. She playing, having a good time. So try to dismiss that. Don't let it affect the reading too much, because I'm not gonna let this that affect us at all. So I got a bunch of dicks, so we're gonna get real deep in this reading and I'm already seeing some numbers, number 33. I got some channel messages, but I'm not gonna dive into that. I'm gonna dive into that into a whole nother separate message right now. We're just gonna dive into the um timeless message. Whatever spirit wants to tell us right now, whatever going on in our energy, you know, whoever come across this, whoever it's meant for, you know, take what risk and they leave the rest out. So I hope this helps anyone. I pray now to God that everything happen for the highest good, no deception, no truth, right? As that right here, I can protect us from all deception, all truth, right? all negative interference, anything that can negatively affect this reading and cause anything to harm us, negatively affect us. Amen, man, man, man. I benefit the right people that need to see this at the right time. See this for the highest good, no, harm, no, no deception, no truth, right? Amen, man, man. One, two, three. So this guy right into it. I'm gonna start off with my. Handmade Oracle deck that I've been working on. It's something quick I made. I'm not gonna say quick, but something I've been working on want to make. So um yeah, and I got some blank cards and I'm gonna add some more stuff on to them. But we're gonna work and see what spirit God, absolute source, spirit guides, angels got to say to us throughout all these cards. So let's dive right into it. Let's see what we pull from my handmade Oracle deck. Let's start off this reading because we got a lot of decks we can get into. I'm not going to get into all of them. Whatever spirit called me to. So let's dive right into it. Let me stop procrastinating. I got us an incense lit and I got us a candle lit. About to ring the bell. Play out in the Calling all our spirit Thirty three again. We got two chocolates that blocked off. So we got this voodoo card again. And we got throat chakra. One 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 on the clock as I say that. So you might feel like you got a, a block root chakra or you're not speaking your truth. And sometimes it in a lot to this voodoo energy. Like either you feel like somebody put something on you or um you feel like you need to be affected from some voodoo. It could be this, past, I mean, this life, past life, ancestral, anything that got to do with this black magic voodoo energy right here. Like I said in the um reading before, once again, no voodoo, no black magic, no negative, negative energy, spells, hisses, curses can nigga be affect me. So with the throat chakra coming out with that, I'm feeling like you have to really speak that, affirm that for yourself. Nothing can nigga be affect me. No voodoo can nigga be affect me. No hisses, curses, spell can negatively affect me. Any negative hisses, curses, spell that come through my past life, my ancestral lineage is removed. And just affirm that for yourself. Speak your truth too also. So if you feel like you need to speak your truth, when it come to this, because they, they flew out. When it come to this, the voodoo black magic, speak your truth. And also proclaim that nothing can negatively affect you unless you give it, you know, permission to. Two, two, two on the clock as I say that. Nothing has power over you. You are a sovereign divine being. So, yeah. 10 10 on the bottom of the deck. So, you might need to release this. It might, you know, it help you get through a new beginning. 10 10. Okay. So, make sure you're speaking that truth. New beginning is coming most definitely, though. With that 10 10 on the bottom of the deck, like that. They might be blocking uh, a new beginning from coming through. You might be feeling like some still negatively affecting you to get to this new beginning. Yup, exactly. So, yeah. Or uh, something along the lines of that. So release it and embrace the new beginning because nothing can negatively affect you. You are a divine sovereign being. My twin having fun in the background. Three, three on the clock as I say it again. We got ravens and we got energy vampires. So uh, 
trust okay trust also came out in the child in reverse that's all we're gonna pull from now trust in the child in reverse we got raven and we got energy vampire so the energy vampire nine times out of ten i feel like it got something to do with the throat chakra also and the voodoo Somebody, you feeling like somebody dibbling, dabbling, three, 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 on the clock, as I said it. Somebody dibbling and dabbling in your energy. And it don't work like that unless you want it to work like that because, oh. In our subconscious, we could, uh, the stuff we don't know about that much, we don't naturally burn to the surface. We could be thinking that people can do this to me. And I'm currently kind of going through something like this. People can do this for me. But I'm getting up out of it because I'm slowly but surely realizing can't nothing negatively affect me. Can't no voodoo negatively affect me. Can't nobody steal my energy. And if they trying to, I'm a sovereign divine being. I'm being. Nobody has the ability. Nobody has the permission to tap into my energy, steal energy from me, or negatively affect me. So you might feel like you got an energy vampire around you. A lot of energy vampires around you. Also, a little voodoo. Da -da -do. <laughs> but they can't do nothing. Yeah. Once you realize this, please take heed. This message is meant for you. It's a strong message for you to know. Nobody can neg negatively affect you in any way you don't permit. Nobody has permission to tap into your energy, steal energy from you, nothing. But if you're vulnerable, if you're like 444, 441 on the clock, 444, as I say that. If you're vulnerable, you might need to look at some places throughout your life, past life, ancestral, where you're becoming very, I mean, becoming vulnerable for these things to attack you. Uh, codependency, four, five, six on the clock, as I said, that codependency, uh, need for validation, all those, you know, overextending energies. Let me just put it like this. So, also got the inner child in reverse, so I feel like they got a lot to do with it. So, 513 on the clock, as I said, that you need to tap into your inner child. Heal your inner child or give your inner child the energy that is needed so it won't be looking from it outside. Because when you look at it from outside and then this is messed up, you're just going to attract what, you know, what's ever inside of you. So, you know what I'm saying? Looking for something outside of you. Somebody else looking for something outside of them. You get what I'm saying? Don't open the doorway. Close the doorway. Nobody has permission to do Anything that can negatively affect my energy, nobody can steal my energy, harvest my energy, nothing. So also you've been seeing ravens. Um, I pause for a minute because I know what crows mean most definitely. Five, five, five on the clock as I see they change. So ravens also mean change, but they give me a lot more of tapping into more of your psychic abilities, the subconscious, just like ravens, but ravens usher more of that change in. 609 on the clock, as I say that, they usher more of the, the change in. The ravens, I feel like right now, help you tap more into your psychic abilities to see the things you don't normally see. 619 on the clock, as I say that. So if you've been seeing ravens also, you know, tap into your psychic abilities, you know, try to figure out some stuff you ain't seeing, but not just looking for bad stuff, but you know, your gifts, talents, anything that might be negatively affecting you. Even if you don't want to see this stuff, make sure you tapping in with the divine and asking them, you know, the stuff that I, I'm not even aware about. Please make sure you handle it, deal with it. Because the divine only can permit, again, they only have permission to do anything that you tell them to do. Some, you know, and then you got other people, energy vampires, whatever the other energy was, a trick you, you know, manipulate you and feel like, that you know they they can do this and they got permission to do this or just you know put you at a lower state so you can become vulnerable to them yeah ravens though ravens i want to look into those so yeah that's what we got for my little handmade deck speaking truth oh we got trust also trust in the universe trust in the, the divine that you will get through all of this that they will take care of all this whatever it may be trust in the, the divine that you will make it through this that they will be able to help you uh throughout this little journey passage way of you realizing that this stuff can ne not negatively affect you but also trusting them as they help you heal the womb or whatever opening it may be past present future whatever timeline ancestry or they help you heal that that womb i'm feeling very inner child and then with the raven you know trust trust in the unknown that's what i get with the raven so next we're going to dive into the Kelly Oracle to see what Kelly Ma has to say in this reading. Quick little Oracle from Kelly Ma. 
I'm looking at my cards. I ain't got all my cards over here. Some of them still in my bag. So let's dive right into it. 818 on the clock. Let's see what Kelly Ma has to say. 818 is Kelly Ma's number a little bit. Y'all had watched the video one time and it was like 818 rebirth Kelly Ma. And then from there, I just was like, okay, 818, give me more. Like, this might be Kelly Ma's energy. It look at this too, but you know they all tied in together. 838. Do Mavati. Do Mavati. Do Mavati. So we had the 1010. Remember, I had I ain't pulled 1010 out, but 1010 was in there. New beginning. Certain endings are unavoidable. They are necessary. <laughs> they are necessary precursors. To radical reinvention, any disappointment, defeat, or loss, and the negative repercussions of such experiences will not limit your future happiness, but are opening up yet unrecognized pathways for fulfillment. Your trust may be unconditional at this time. No, your trust must be. Oh my God. Your trust must be unconditional at this time, and later you shall see that everything has worked out for the absolute best so let me read that one more time dumavati certain endings are unavoidable they are necessary pre precursors to radical reinvention any disappointment defeat or loss and the negative and the negative repercussions of such experiences will not limit your future happiness but are opening up yet unrecognized pathways for fulfillment your trust must be unconditional at this time. And later you shall see that everything has worked out for the absolute best. So whatever you're going through right now, it don't matter. Trust the universe as it 10, 21, 10, 22 on the clock, as I say that. And trust in the universe that it's all for the greatest good. Somebody blowing your ass, you might need to cut their ass off because it's all for the greatest good. I just had to say that for some reason. 10, 33 on the clock, as I say that. Because, you know, you deal with a lot of hostile energies. I know I do. I deal with a lot of hostile energies, and then I had an energy inside of me. Like, is it my fault? Type energy. Ten four four on the clock. As I say that, hell to the goddamn no. So, um, you know, just trust in the universe when certain situations and stuff like that pop up, so you can see if it's that that deep. You get what I'm saying? Because I deal with little petty stuff like that. But if it's that deep, but if it ain't that deep, but just you know, certain endings and you know, the dismantlement of things, you know. Whatever the case may be, take your words your rest and they trust in the universe that they are guiding you to a higher place. You in the unknown right now, but the universe is really guiding you to a better place. So trust, trust, trust. I'm going to pull one more for Kelly so I can see one more thing that Kelly got to say to us. One, two, three. Um. Bava ba, oh ba, Torini. Okay, Bava Torini. When momentum is building and you don't know how to stop fueling the fire or reverse the damage, Kelly brings grace and freedom from negative pattern, pattering and stubborn mindsets, mindsets resistant to change. Now is a powerful time for spiritual work and healing practices. She will support the work and much growth can come from it. The storm shall be gentle. You shall emerge unharmed. Simple as, as it says. You get what I'm saying? Certain end is coming to an end. And then it's the reinvention of yourself, trusting in the universe. And then, you know, the messages, the healing, anything that might pop up that they might be sending. Make sure you open to connect more with it because, you know, obviously the universe giving you more energy now to heal. You know what I'm saying? It's more support and energy behind whatever healing you might be trying to do, whatever spiritual work you might be trying to do, especially with Kelly Ma on your side. That's a powerful energy. So, you know. Bottom of the deck, I got to read this. 
Because I didn't want to. Ooh, look at both sides of the hole. And it's so crazy. I was doing a Ganesh on um, reading. They hit me like they came from the Pleiades or something. I was doing a Ganesh, not reading. I was doing a Ganesh mantra, listening to it, and the picture showed up. I was a little above in the high little consciousness. In the picture, it just started, I ain't going to say it talked to me, but it started moving three, two, three on the clock as I said it. One, three, three on the clock also as I said it. Half of him started turning blue. And I was like, whoa, hold up. What? And it was a different energy, though. And then the other energy was the energy that we all know the joy is, happy energy, ha, 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 Ganesh, abundance. And then it was the other side. And it kind of scared me at first time. I realized he was showing me, like, I'm not going to play, bro. Period. Whatever position you get put in, bro, I'm not going to play with nobody when it come to you, bro. Half of him showed me he was happy, and the other half showed me he was not playing. He was ready at any moment for anything that came his way or came your way. And he showed me, like, you better not play. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, it was powerful. It was a powerful experience, and I loved it when I connected with him in that way. And it showed me parts of myself to understand me even more. It's, you know, it's multiple aspects of yourself. Embrace them. Don't harm them because... The other side might be trying to protect you, and you down in it so much, and it only got certain ways to show you how it's protecting you, and it'll do it in the wrong way. So connecting with it and embracing it so it can be able to do it in more, you know, hidden ways. Four, four, four on the clock, as I said it. And it's mostly inner child. Wow. So, you know, that part, a side of you that's trying to protect you and let it see it, you know what I'm saying? You got to hear that part and you got to bring it back to balance so it can be able to protect you exactly how it need to. Take it there, how it resonated. It was a lot. So this card was Dharma of Cali. Your most abundant successes manifest when you are aligned with your integrity. You do not need to put your faith in pathways or projects that do not, that do not resonate with your deeper spiritual knowing. Everything that is happening in your life is part of how your prayers are being answered. A new order is to be established. You are being led into. New beginning. New beginning. That's all I can say from that one. Thank you, Kelly, for coming through with that. So we ain't going to die. I'm going to tear it. We're going to pull some more. Or could they give me a minute? Let me go grab um some more cards. Oh, you so. But you don't feel like I do. So where that for? Tell me what can I do, but I gotta be, but I gotta be strong, girl, you did me wrong. Okay, so we gonna dive right back to it. We gotta keep us under light or connect, so we finna see what spiritual masters, I mean, spirit guys are seeing the masters and divine beings come through for how good with this message. Who wants to connect, who coming through to help us also, other than Kelly, because you know, you know, Big confirmation that Kelly is leading us also on our spirit team. So you come across this connect with Kelly. <sighs> Tell me what can I do? That's my shit, bro. But I gotta be, but I gotta be strong. Girl, you didn't I thought we were really down. Karmic lesson, as I say that. So, you know. Take it as it resonates. Karmic lesson, as I seen, twisted. Okay. We all know what that means. We all know what that means. One, one on the clock, as I said. If you don't know what twisted is, go listen to Twisted by Key Sweat, and you're going to understand from that point. And then Karmic lesson on my hand, reading Oracle there. So you might be dealing with a karmic lesson that you need to just let go. And that was the truth for somebody. Horus, Cosmic Gateway. Yes, that boy that leads you to them. That boy had to find every piece of his soul, put it back together, and become the king he was. Horus, Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. One for four o'clock, as I said. I don't know how I can say it. You know, what more can I say? We going into this, you going into this new beginning. We going into this new be beginning. Make sure you keeping your thoughts aligned with the things that you actually want. Don't let negativity overcome your thoughts and the changes that you are going through. I'm just trying to see God. How you pull Horus and Isis in the same reading? They twin flames. They right there. Two, two, two on the clock. As I say that. 
twin flame energy is so smooth. Oh my God. Magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Of reality, stay focused. Exactly what I just said. Because your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Mm, one more. And we're gonna read out the book. What they what they mean? One more. Hope. Oh my God. If this ain't aligned with the readings I've been watching and the stuff that been hitting me in my face, hold up, y'all. I gotta be real extra real quick. When I was going through the worst of my times, I'm going to show y'all. I'm in the house. This is my friend's house. God led me in places for a crazy way. Bro, I was sitting here getting high, you know, chilling, getting high. Fucked up in the head. I seen this on the wall. Hope. I'm talking about I'm high, and I just watch it. Hope. And then I see faith. Because off of hope, you have faith. Because if you hope good enough, you got some faith. So hope says... May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him. Genesis 15, 15. Wow. That's 30. But this is why I said, wow. Because this verse is Hebrews 11, 1. 1, 1, 1. Faith. New faith is the substance. No, now faith is the substance of things Hope for exactly what I just said. The evidence of things not seen. Four, 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 four on the clock as I say that. You a glitch in the matrix, my friend. Whoever you are, you are a glitch in the matrix like me. It's been a hard journey, a long coming. Getting energies up off you. But you didn't did it some type of way. That's wild. <laughs> that is so wild. This is wild. Okay, powerful reading. Please keep your hope and faith for the things you do not see they are like right here. So soon as enough of that energy filled up, the veil is lifted. Four through three on the clock as I say that. Hope. Hope. Love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choosing loving thoughts. Four, four, four on the clock as I say that. Wow. Mind blown. I love y'all. It's been a long journey. I love y'all. It ain't even been that long, but it's like, damn, them look. Cyphers felt like I was trapped in them for years. Okay, Horace, your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Horace is the Egyptian eagle-headed god and sun twin flame of the goddess Isis. He is known for his foresight, psychic awareness, and ability to travel between the worlds. He can help us move into the cosmos with our mind, meditations, and prayers so that we can harness the natural magic that surrounds us. He was known for ritual magic in the past. I love ritual magic. And now he helps create pockets of energy in the world where we can access light, wisdom, and insight. If you are seeing the symbol of an eye appearing around you, know that Horace is asking you to become aware of how you are influencing the energy around you and how it in turn is influencing you. You are connected to the universe and have the ability to manifest miraculous experiences. Your thoughts, words, and actions are like magnets drawing the energy that creates and cultivates your world. You have a stellar gateway chakra above your head, a vortex of energy that is influenced by your own energy. You can place ideas into this vortex to create what you are seeking. The universe also offers you guidance, abundance, support, and healing based on your capacity to connect to it and accept it. You have a real opportunity to further that connection now by sending prayers and intentions out into the cosmos. 619 on the clock as I said. Next page after that, we have Isis. Magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Isis is a strong, smart, and focused Egyptian winged goddess. According to legend, she was able to move from darkness to light and between the underworld, heaven, and earth. For that reason, whenever she comes to us, she will help us move from the hell of our own fear into the heaven of our own love. She was able to revive her lover Osiris from the dead. And this powerful allegorical story shows us how she can help us revive an aspect of our life or a dream that we may have killed off with fear or lack of self-belief. With her magical abilities, Isis will guide us to bring our dreams into reality. You are moving into a space where your dream reality is becoming your outward reality. This, in, this is an extremely powerful time and it's a vital time 
to keep focused on the highest good of all. You no longer want to relive your own history and or feel unsupported. Acknowledging where you once were and how you changed that situation around is a powerful focus of gratitude that will align you with universal abundance. Discipline and commitment are important now. Consider that you are moving between worlds when you daydream or create visions and bring in life-enhancing ideas into reality. Magic is manifesting all around you. This is exciting. Thank you so much, God. Thank you so much, God. Please, God, thank you so much. Because, boy, you boy, oh, I just want my own little space. Oh, I'm, I'm cutting up for you yeah. Ooh. Okay, hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth, 808 on the clock, as I said. Choose loving thoughts. Hope is an angel who is dedicated to promoting the idea that we are on earth, that we on earth are loved, cherished, and supported by the kingdom of heaven. She is all about helping us see the light beyond whatever darkness we are in. So, the reading I was watching, 828 on the clock, as I said it, and the movie I watched, because she said somebody, I mean, the TV show I, she was referring to was Sam, I mean, was the same man, yeah, Sam man, and he was the Lord of Dreams, and he had fought against Lucifer, and Lucifer almost defeated him until he called on hope, and hope, you know, distinguishes all darkness and anything that can negatively affect me. You know what I'm saying? Or you, you know what I'm saying? He won a battle against Lucifer. So if you haven't seen Sam man tap into that, I got to figure out what that um, reader name was, if I can't figure it out while I'm on here, I'm going to um, repost it in the community. Check her out. She's real dope. She helped me with a lot. I was, you know, she was saying stuff I really ain't, you know, you probably wouldn't want to hear about. But as I'm hearing about it, it's relieving so much off of me so I can understand it. And then I can be aware. And once you're aware, it doesn't negatively affect you. No, 916 on the clock as I said it. She's all about helping us see beyond the light beyond. She is all about helping us see the light beyond whatever darkness we are in. Traveling as part of a holy trinity, faith, hope, and charity. She helps us recognize that hope isn't about wishing for something good to happen or to or help to arrive, but trusting that support is already present. Hope is the twin flame of Archangel Gabriel. And I've been getting Gabriel a lot too. She has a gentle presence, but she is absolutely glorious. She sings sweet harmonies to us, and these songs are ways of love, washing away anything that stands between us and self-love and acceptance. Angels are gathering around you in celebration that you are finally willing to see how loving and lov lovable you are. Please love yourself. It, it's been hard for me. I wanted to love 10, 10 on the clock as I said it, 10, 10, new beginning. I wanted to love myself so bad. I ain't trying to bring my pain up. I'm not trying to bring no story up or nothing. Because I had a message earlier, you know, your pain, not your story, and, you know, your trauma, not your story. Let go of the story. Let go of the baggage. But, boy, my baby mama told me something one time. The the father, I mean, the mother of my, my son, she said, and it hurt me so bad. Like, how? that's when I knew a lot. It's like, at that point, I was just like, I'm done. I, can, I just can't do it. I gave her so much of myself. You know, I made mistakes and all that. I'm a man. You get what I'm saying? Not saying I'm a man that that justifies what I've done, but I I come from a lineage, I guess, of fucked up ass men. And it's just my stepdad even too. I was staying in the household with my mom and my stepdad, and it was just so much that just showed me like wrong stuff. But I was a child and I picked up all this stuff. He let me let him on the clock as I said it, inner child healing. I was a child when I picked up most of this stuff. So as I got older, I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna say I accepted it because I always had a little consciousness in me to know that some stuff was is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Cheating and all that, that shit wrong. So as I woke up and realized this shit, I go through relationships, cheating, all type of shit. Just me being a man, eleven thirty three on the clock as I said it, it's nothing that ain't finna help. You finna come back home. Your girl know you done cheated because every female psychic to me. So, you know, they gonna figure out the bad shit even if you don't, if, if a girl don't pick up a lot of good shit. She gonna know. And you know females love to go after the bad shit. I'm not gonna say that. But they will. When you're, when you, when a female is on edge or they traumatized or they going through a lot, they gonna always be looking for like that, that confirmation that you're not trustworthy and I was the man to just do that heartbreak, all that type of shit. But as I realized, I'm like, bro, the you know, I mean, like, the world set me up 12, 12 on the clock, as I said, the world set me up to think like this. The world set me up to do females like this. It's in my, 
It's everywhere. It's everywhere. And it's grooming more and more in me as I get older because the music and all this, da 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 this. So I had to make a stop and be like, I can't do this shit no more. Period. So boom, go back to the loving yourself part, the inner child. I had, it was one day, we was all together. It was just some, I don't know. But we all were just chilling together or something. And out of nowhere, she was like, she was talking to my son. This man, I ain't conscious of what you talking about at all. So I know you attacking me. I know you talking to me. Uh, she tell him, it's just me and her. We grown as hell. I'm grown as hell. It's just me and her. So you talking to me. Oh, yeah, son. Um... Mm-hmm, you gonna love yourself. You ain't, you ain't gonna not love yourself. Mm-hmm, you gonna love yourself. Like, and it was like, she was saying to me, like, you don't love yourself. My son gonna love himself, but you don't love yourself. 13, 13 on the clock, as I said. You don't love yourself. But I'm like, hold up, I don't love myself. You ain't telling me this, you ain't showing me this shit, but you knowing I'm not loving myself, you draining me type shit? So that just basically that it. She just, you know, showed me like I wasn't loving myself enough. Coming from the person I love was giving my heart to three, three, three on the clock. As I said, hey, you ain't loving yourself enough. And she ain't saying in a way where it would comfort me to let me know how beautiful or whatever it is. Because I'm not, I still got to love myself enough to, to, to support myself when I say good stuff about myself. But just knowing I'm beautiful, knowing that I deserve this love, that I'm worthy, and that, you know, Bro, that I deserve to love me first. She could have, you know what I'm saying? There's so many ways she could have said that without saying that. Talking to my son that ain't even conscious. This nigga's much years old. Telling him he gonna love himself because his dad not loving himself enough. What type of shit? And then from there, I was just always conscious to know, like, damn, like, the people I love the most showing me, like, I'm not even loving myself enough because that, you know what I'm saying? Either... It ain't going to be enough for them always, period. You know, karmic lessons and shit like that. It's never going to be enough for them. And karmic lessons was in, was it in reverse? Not a whole dick in reverse. They never going to love, your love will never be enough for them because they not loving they self enough. So you need to learn, love yourself enough so you can really bypass this and really understand that shit. So I, I wasn't hurt when she said it, but I mean, I went. I was. I was mad. I was hurt. All that shit. But when I realized, I'm just like, okay, she's just making me aware that I don't love myself enough. I might not be able to love myself enough to give it to her, but I'm going to figure out a way to love myself enough so I can be enough for me and my son. You know what I'm saying? So he don't feel like his dad don't even love himself enough to do what he need to do for me or do what he need to do for himself. You know what I'm saying? Because I spent all my time trying to get my love and my energy into other people. Just to tell me I'm not loving myself enough. That's basically telling me my love ain't enough type shit. Because actually, I thought I was loving myself enough because I love y'all. Because I was a martyr. My perception on love, I'm going to love my people to death. And I know they're going to love me and give me the energy and respect that I need. But those people were showing me, no, you got to love yourself enough to not even let, you know, certain people into your life. So, period. I'm sorry. I, somebody probably needed it. But, it, yeah, I almost cried because it was it, it, it hurt because I really wanted those people in my life and I really loved them. And I was trying so hard to teach pe the people that I wasn't supposed to teach shit. I'm just telling them all type of shit. And for people to turn around and tell me I don't love myself enough, turn me up. Not who don't love themselves. Five, 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 five on the clock as I say that. <laughs> um... Hope is the twin flame of Archangel Gabriel. She has a gentle presence, but she is absolutely glorious. She swings sweet har har harmonies to us, and these sweet songs are ways of love, washing away anything that stands between us and self-love and acceptance. So accept yourself, even in any stage. In this stage, you know, she could have just told me to accept myself instead of saying, you don't love yourself. Accept yourself as you is, Kelsey. You doing the best you can. I had nobody around me to tell me that. They were draining the fuck out of me. Energy vampire. You get what I'm saying? Tyree, I gotta get the fuck out of these people way and let God handle this shit. Cause I can't say these motherfuckers if I can't say myself. I'm gonna end up in jail or something. And I and they living happy and I'm gonna be mad as fuck. And guess who want that? The fucking devil. He want me mad. I'm not even gonna say the devil, but myself, you know, enemy. Cause we not gonna lie like it ain't an enemy out there. The enemy, he won't dare to be, be, be get myself all the way away, self sacrifice down the cross just to, for these people to tell me what the fuck you just hopped on that cross for, you dumbass nigga, and then go on by their business and keep doing whatever they were doing. 
Angels are gathering around you in celebration that you are finally willing to see how loving and lo lovable you are. Hope is here with her legion, legions of love angels guiding you to see that you deserve loving relationships. That's going to be a hard breakup. When that love come to me, bro, I'm going to be so, like, shocked but happy. Like, yeah, y'all yeah, going to see a better side of me. So, y'all yeah, have been on this healing journey with me. Even my earlier, you know, messages, I went in the greatest positions. I was still in positions where I wasn't even supposed to be in. Still now, you get what I'm saying? But I was trying. You get what I'm saying? I was trying my best. And I just knew God was going to do that. I was still in love with the wrong people. So, you know, hope couldn't come for me at the time. Because it was like, I can't let you hope for some shit that ain't even made for you type shit. <laughs> it seems that you are really moving beyond the limitations that you once held in this department. But know that whenever you do question your worth, you can call on hope to shine her golden light upon you. Your angels want you to know that they love and cherish you. And they are grateful that you're giving yourself the same support. 18, 18 on the clock as I say that. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, Hope. Thank you, Isis. Thank you, Horus. Thank you, Kalima. And thank you, all other divine beings for coming through and helping us. Heal us as much as possible. Amen, amen, amen. I send healing and loving energies to anyone that might need any energies from any one of these powerful beings. We open ourselves to you. I know I do. We got coin in at the bottom of the deck. Care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer it a helping hand. You walking away could be the best thing for everyone involved. Because you ain't giving these people the energy to feel like they can do whatever it is they feel like they can do. Coin in is a bold. He's a tava. Buddha-like being in the goddess of mercy, compassion, and love. Though she is acknowledged in Buddhism in the traditions of China, she goes beyond religion and warms the hearts of all who call on her. She has a strong connection to healing energy. I might just say that in particular, Ricky. I am a Ricky master. If anyone needs a um a Ricky session, we can book that too. Also, just email me at the time. Encourages people to offer care, forgiveness, and compassion to themselves and others. Compassion is about recognizing the spirit in others. It's about seeing that they come from the same source as you do. Everyone comes from the same source. Most people not might not be ready to connect with this source at this time, but they still a part of that source. So, you know, having love and grace for them, but not letting them do no extra shit to you. Nine, five, six on the clock as I said it. Having boundaries. First of all, the keepers of light want you to acknowledge all the service and commitment you have offered to others. Thank you, God. You are all love. If you are finding it difficult with anyone at the moment, the best way you can move forward is to go beyond wanting to understand why or how they are the way they are. Just move beyond their behavior, mistakes, and challenges. This card brings a message of friendship and care, helping you see that those around you do have the best intentions, even if it doesn't always seem that way. Move into compassion and develop a greater understanding. This will elevate your spirit and connection to love. Some people going through stuff they're not ready to grow out of. You know, take it. You done been in a position, bro. Higher learning, male chills of it. You know. Look at it from a higher perspective. You know, they most people not gonna make the choices you make. You can't bring them along where you want. So release that baggage of all the negative emotions about it and see the higher of it. If I do better and I get out of the position that we all in, maybe I get them a chance to run over here, but I'm not finna keep running in this. Simple as that, bro. Simple as that. Healing yourself. Understanding you're not doing nothing bad for you. It's for you. If you don't say your soul, they're going to take your soul. I'm just saying it just like that. <laughs> God ain't going to let nothing real bad happen. But he, you know, God opened the door for the deal. For anybody that need to hear that. If you over, if you're not taking accountability, stop blaming the devil for everything. God would open the door for the devil to let him attack you if you not 21, 33 on the clock, as I said, if you don't see something or somewhere you need to learn, period. How the hell God made all this? I'm sorry, God, for cussing, but how he made all this? And one little being that he made also, he can't put under control. That man know he under his control, bro. Stop playing. Y'all better pay attention and wake up. I'm telling you, boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. We're going to pull one out of the earth angels to see what come out of here. Just one. Just one. The earth angels oracle to see what they have to say to us. 
Your boy finna hit 100,000 views too. Thank you all that be watching and supporting me, bro. And I hit 500 subscribers. And we finna hit 1K. So we finna start getting this money. 2 2 2 2 2 on the clock as I say that. 2 2 2 on the clock as I say that. So thank y'all for y'all support. Thank y'all. If I'm not saying it enough, if y'all feel like I'm not thank y'all enough for y'all support, thank you. It is very much appreciated. I need all the support I can get because this is my main job. God hired me, so I can't get fired. But if I don't do no work, I can't get paid. 22, 44, 1 o'clock, as I say that. Ooh, guess who popped out? 13. We're going to pull both of them. 17 and 13. That's 30. We getting 30 a lot in here. A lot of threes. 17. Padma Sundari. Out of darkness, the light is born. Look at this beautiful card. I already know who this is. It's my main guard, Lakshmi. <laughs> Lakshmi. I love Lakshmi. I got to connect more with her. But I already been connecting with her a little bit. And she most does do the job. But I got to keep doing the work. That's all it's about. Number 17. Padma Sundari. Out of darkness, the light is born. Deep breath. Breathe out. The light is powerful enough to survive exposure to the darkest side of humanity and remain pure, empowered, and effective. Trust in your spiritual purpose as a light in this world. Trust particularly in your ability to bring purity, order, grace, and light to disorder, chaos, and destruction. The divine is ever by your side and ever within your heart, assisting you with its higher purpose in all ways. All issues can be healed through the unlimited resource and creative resourcefulness of the divine. You are destined to be part of a creative solution for issues you have in your life or that exist in the world and touches your heart. A problem only exists so that divine genius can resolve it. Struggles are sometimes the best way for us to learn something that we need to understand for our life journey. Trust that when you ask for help, even apparently impossible situations can be turned around. With willing human engagement and divine grace, there is more than enough light, healing, creative, innovative, Wisdom and energy available to keep Mother Earth and all her creatures, including humanity, thriving. Never give up your hope and trust in what is possible, nor your willingness to act upon that hope and trust. Hope and trust. So you hope and trust that it's going to happen. Spirit. Okay. The Divine Mother in the form of Padma Sundari is the bright face of the feminine. She is Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth. Tap into a beauty, love, and spiritual enlightenment. Padma Sundari is the lotus of divine love, the arising of abundance and enlightenment, especially out of difficult, muddy beginnings. <laughs> an ancient symbol for spiritual enlightenment, the lotus rests pure upon the muddy waters from which it has grown. Me and my cousin was talking about this also the other day when we got on the phone. Lakshmi's divine lotus flowers reminds us that spiritual light needs material form through which it can manifest itself in the world. As if it were divine electricity needing the lamp of the soul through which to give the gift of illumination. Without the lamp, the electricity cannot manifest its power. And without electricity, the lamp cannot fulfill its true purpose. When the oracle of Padma Sundari appears, her message is that you are able to do a lot of good in this world. The divine mother will assist you with your purpose so that you succeed. But you must take action and trust that sometimes it is through challenges that we become most ready to receive grace. Allow the light of your spirit into your soul. No, allow the light of spirit into your soul so you can never again feel that you are doing anything on your own. Regularly remind yourself that you have a divine sponsor, guide, coach, partner, and friend with you always. That friend has unlimited resources and the most potent will of all. Notice how your confidence to take action increases when you build that belief system within you. How much more secure, courageous, and willing you become. Whew, that's why I said only one card. These motherfuckers be. Whew. Part of your spiritual path requires that you walk your talk and live in a way that shows optimism and practicality. When something's not working, we do not need to hide from it in shame. We face it because we have spiritual self-esteem and self-confidence. When we choose courage, we can confront what isn't working and search for answers. Search for answers. Rather than becoming overwhelmed or afraid of any darkness, remember that the Holy Mother is with you and within you. With your active participation, she will bring you everything you need to confront any 
confront and tackle any issue, no matter how intimidating it may seem, one step at a time. Along with the power of your divine connection, you have the intelligence and ability to find information, educate yourself, and try out new behaviors to become an active part of the solution for any matters that moves you deeply. Taking these steps will boost your, boost your self-esteem and your energy levels, helping you feel good about yourself and your presence in the world. It's not about being perfect, but taking the next step for you. Trusting the divine time and realizing that there is far-reaching good that can happen through you as you continue to actively engage with life in your divine inner relationship. Believe in what we can and will accomplish together through our passionate love affair with the divine and our adoring devotion to the earth mother and her children. If possible and practical, here go the healing process. If possible and practical, this exercise can be done barefoot. If you cannot physically move through the process, then visualize or imagine instead. Stand comfortably with your knees slightly bent and feet about hip width apart. Allow your posture to become straight but relaxed. Direct, direct your awareness into your feet. You can help this process along by wiggling your toes a little bit, shifting your body weight slightly from heels to toes and from side to side and rising onto your toes and back onto your heels if your balance is good today. Imagine that you can feel your feet from the inside. Imagine, feel, or intend that your feet can sense the rich, nourishing, and vitalizing energy of the earth and the ground beneath you. Imagine and intend that the magnetic pulling power of your feet is strong enough to create a palpable connection, a gentle suctioning motion between your feet and the energy of the earth, allowing the earth energy to build up beneath your feet and then flow up through your being, softly out through the top of your head, gently cascading down on either side of you. Soaking back into the ground. Say out loud. I call upon divine grace and unconditional love to show me truth and creative solutions. Empowered by divine wisdom for all matters in my life. Including my financial matters, uh, my stability. But it says here mention anything specific that you would like to help resolve with you. And any relationship problems with other people, it's friendships, family, anything of that nature. May all beings know and be blessed, assisted and empowered by the Divine Mother to fulfill their purpose and potential. So be it. Place your hands in prayer position. You have completed your healing process. Oh, man, we got another card, Jai. Wow, I thought I was so free from these cards. They not bad. They just so long, and it's like so much energy be moving through me. It kind of like, whoa, it gets intense. So I'm not going to run from the energy. That's what is going on. I'm running from the energy. Let me draw me some water. I can take me a break. How y'all doing? Good. That's good. <laughs> Number 13, it's shell. It's it's shell. Medicine of the Rainbow Jaguar. It's shell protects you now as you transition from one life phase to the next. With her rainbow light, this guardian goddess instructs you on how to use your great power with wisdom to nourish only what is worthy. Using Jaguar medicine with perfect timing, she confronts that which is unworthy of her devotion, eradicating destructive, destructive forces and creating space for healing, relief, and rebirth. Her presence is the wild power of the Jaguar, the renewal promise of the rainbow and divine feminine creativity. All darkness should be overcome. You are going through a transition. Cultivate hope and stay true to your intentions. Let nothing divert you from your true path. If you have a project, vision, or lifestyle that you are seeking to bring into the world, a shell spiritual power is guiding and guarding you for a healthy birth. She also brings a message that there are times when fierceness is necessary. At this time, it is important for you to cut off negative sources completely. Do not allow yourself to be used or exploited. Energy vampires, you got some energy vampires around you. 
Uh, this is not the time to indulge in someone else's ego or go against your own inner knowing to give someone the benefit of doubt. Don't give it to them. You already gave it to them before nine times out of ten, so don't do it no more. Trust your instincts and break immediately from what isn't right for you. This will bring you new opportunities in situations that are worthy of your passionate devotion. Ishea is the Mayan goddess of midwifery, medicine, water, fertility, the jaguar, and the moon. The stones of jade and turquoise were precious to the Maya and are at home in an altar offering to Ishea. In Mayan hieroglyphics, she appears as Chakshea or Big Rainbow. The Mayan Rainbow Lady is a cosmic mother mother of the rainbow light, responsible for sending rain to nourish the crops, ensuring fertility and life. She in turn, she overturns her divine womb and allows sacred life-giving rain to fall into the soul. Oh my God. She, oh, hold up. I got 20%. My phone was it was going dead. I started tripping. The Mayan Rainbow Lady is a cosmic mother of the rainbow light, responsible for sending rain to nourish the crops, ensuring fertility and life. She overturns her divine womb and allows sacred life-giving rain to fall into the soul, promoting growth. The rainbow light of his shell is an oracle of renewal. This is your sign that all is in accord with life. New beginnings shall stem from the past. There is power to create and, and that which is beautiful. Necessary and healing shall flow to you and through you into the world. Thank you. His shell holds jaguar medicine. Jaguar thrives in many environments, being able to climb, run, and swim. On a spiritual level, level, it is said to hold power throughout all dimensions because of its mastery of height, distance, and water. Jaguar medicine brings the ability to move in darkness without fear, trust, trusting in the unknown, to see clearly through chaos, to evade, and to destroy. Jaguar is fierce, decisive, powerful, and irreversible. It shall brings you the, this wisdom for your soul journey. A definitive conquering of darkness is at hand. It shares teachings, including include her story of falling passionately in love with a man who did not respect her. Oh my God, if they ain't talking about me so bad. Eventually, to get away from him, she shifted into a jaguar becoming invincible whenever he sought her out. In this way, she invaded him and saved her life and the world which relied upon her bounty and vitality from destruction. Ishel teaches us of the need to confront what isn't working in our lives, including the influence of negative people, honesty, without fear or compromise. Jaguar is not a halfway medicine. If we allow unworthy influences to take up residence in our minds, our hearts, and our souls, even just a little, they will eventually be our undoing, eroding our happiness, self-esteem, vitality, and ability to fulfill our passionate purpose. It shall burns Jaguar to remind us that exploitation, abuse, and disrespect are unacceptable and must be dealt with effectively according to correct timing and with absolute certainty in our hearts. Ooh, ooh. This wisdom is not about harming another, but about cutting off their influence in our soul. Jaguar medicine is a great power that can be used for good or ill. The purity of heart and mind becomes increasingly important as spiritual power grows. Make yourself unavailable to negativity, gossip, and ill will. Seek out the honest and the constructive. Share your energy and devotion judiciously with that which serves your true values. Healing process. Find a place to relax. Feel or imagine that there is a rainbow starting at your left side, arching over your head and landing onto your right side. The right side then arch un underneath you and joins back up with the start of the rainbow. So aura. You now have an oval rainbow shape around you. Say out loud. The rainbow light brings me healing, blessing, and spiritual grace now according to unconditional divine love. The Divine Mother brings me all that I need with such generosity and wisdom. Rest in this rainbow light, light allowing, it in, allowing it to bring you healing. All you need to do is relax for as long as feels right for you. When you are ready, say out loud. Jaguar medicine honors my soul and divine love now. Ooh. 
Allow yourself to feel, imagine, or visualize a jaguar emerging from the depths of your soul. The muscular, lean body pulsates with power even in rest. This potency bristles just beneath your skin and a layer of fur rests above your skin. Your head is sturdy and broad. Your jaw, which you can now open wide, is a powerful, is powerful, and your tongue is loose and long. Long. My my words are coming out so fast, or even I'm thinking above myself is something not aligning. You use your senses to, to see without seeing. You are aware of the space all around you in all directions, missing nothing. Now let yourself feel more vital and alive. Your teeth are fangs. Your fingernails and toenails are sharp claws extending. On your next exhalation, bear your fangs. Do not direct this energy toward a person, but rather toward an energy of negativity. Use your claws to swipe through which is no longer needed. Jaguar doesn't need a light of movement to be effective. One shearing swipe is enough. The medicine has provided its remedy. Rest as your jaguar form fades. Your human soul emerges cleansed and renewed. Bring your attention back to the rainbow light that surrounds you. Allow it to concentrate gently into the depths of your soul. Rest for as long as you need. You have completed your healing process. Ooh, the Jaguar came out. We got one more in additional card that I'm just going to scan through real quick. Number 16, Lolo, stand in the light. That was powerful. Thank you, Jaguar. Thank you, Lachini, for coming through. Number 13. It's 16, Lolo. We're going to scan through it real quick. You are unique. You are divine. You are a divine and beautiful being. You stand apart from the crowd. Sometimes this evokes jealousy or desire in others who want to possess your light and beauty as their own energy vampires. You need never fear another or believe that they can harm you. I, you remember I said that? Allow yourself to be true to who you are. Do not try to hide your inner light and beauty. You are meant to be seen. Your soul is nurtured and protected by love for the divine. Don't avoid the spotlight. Try to hide or door your light to appease to another or your fears. Your divine light and beauty are meant to help others, and the only way that can occur is if you allow yourself to be seen and express it fully. In Malagasy, the language of Madagascar, Lolo means butterfly, moth, and soul. This sunset, this sunset moth of Madagascar is big, beautiful, and bright. Hold up. Big, beautiful, and bright. Whilst moths, whilst most moths are active at night, the sunset moth of, jet, of Madagascar is the creature of, de, of day. You are meant to shine your divinity in the world in the daylight, in the daylight, not hidden under the cloak of night for fear of how others may react. Healing process. If you are concerned about negative attitudes or attacking behaviors from others for any reason, you can use this healing process to clear the fear and reinforce your divine sanctuary. I'm sorry. Close your eyes and relax. Focus on the flow of your breath in and out. Imagine that you can drape yourself in a cloak of divine beauty, light, and glory. This cloak is a light is light as a feather, shining with endless iridescent shades of color that reveal the exquisite beauty of the divine. This cloak flows lightly around you, offering you a sense of having wings or a body that is beyond your physical body, and yet interpenetrates it too. That body of light and color can breathe as though it is lightly aerated all over. It can release anything that is not of love and shines forth a continuous stream of beauty, divine light in all directions. This light body, your light body, this light body can move freely, grow as largely as you wish, take it any shape, any size, and any form that feels beautiful to your heart. Allow whatever you experience it, whatever your experience is to be. When you are ready, say aloud, I am cloaked in divine glory, light, grace, and beauty. I am a child of the divine and am protected in the sanctuary of absolute divine love now and always. So be it. 
Dance, meditate, rest, or pray with your cloak around you now and keep it with you for as long as you choose. You have completed your healing process. Wow, don't dim that light. Don't dim it because the universe is going to protect you from motherfuckers that don't need to be in it anyway. Message. All right, let's dive into my light seer's oracle. I mean, my light seer's, my light seer's deck, tarot deck. And let's see what messages we get from the tarot. And then I got this off deck right behind it to align all the messages. We're going to pull about four cards out of here. I'll just see what the universe takes us. I'll just see what the universe takes us. Let's just see the universe take us. First card we got, Page of Wands. I'm getting like the new beginning energy. Like when you just came out of the funk and it's like, oh, wow. This me? And you jumping right into that creative energy that the universe is blessing you with at this time. So that's what I feel like. A be like you beginning this uh, the path of creative expression. Wow. I'm also going to read out the book, what they say. But I'm just telling y'all what I feel. The beginning of your creative expression. Wow. Next card, we have five of cups. Also with some four, three, three, three on the clock, as I see that. Some, um, some disappointment you're dealing with, you know. Some disappointment you're dealing with. Ten of Swords probably want to come out so bad. Five of Cups, though. You, um, that's why the Ten of Swords want to um, come out. Because the Five of Cups is the energy of you staying in this hurt, disappointment, sadness of the past. What you done been through. What the people done did to you. And the universe telling you at this time, it's just time to let go of the story, the traumas, all that. That's not you. It was never meant to be you. It was just meant for you to grow beyond. Now it's time for you to embrace this new beginning that the universe has for you and this new story that you got to make. That's what the page of ones is. This is the new creative expression that you got to express. This gone. All that's going down the drain. So you let that go down the drain and you get your ass up. And you figure out, I got me a whole full cup that I'm finna endeavor on that the universe didn't bless you with. Because we got the Ten of Swords. You finally decided to walk away and be like, well, I just got to go. You know what I'm saying? You mentally giving up on all of it. 444 four, four on the clock, as I say that. 444 four, four, four on the clock, as I say that. A lot of folds, a lot of support as you walk away from whatever this is. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You letting go and connecting more with spirit, letting the universe... Put you in that serendipity energy. That's a word I learned from that car, actually. It put you in that serendipity energy of trusting in the universe and seeing where it brings you. Remember when I first started pulling my tarot cards, I said, I'm going to just see where the universe takes us. With that ten of swords, you finally decide to walk away and throwing away all that baggage. She ain't got nothing around her but them birds. Leading her on to the next destination, the next new, beautiful, powerful, place that the universe has for her but you gotta let go of the wallowing disappointment all the energy you ain't do good enough I, 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 cut it all out it all happened for a reason get up stand up strong let it all go and walk forward she ain't got nothing she's going straight no bag is nothing it's just me it's just me it's just me two ones yep waiting with that night of what there was the night of it was the Knight of Cups, I think. Yeah. With that Knight of Cups energy. Either the Page of Cups or Knight of Cups. You win. You plan and putting everything together and you sitting back releasing and waiting on the universe to pull you through. For this next little, you know, cycle. You win. You plan and you win. Like, it's like that. I don't know what card it may be when you ain't on the ships to come in, but you, you I'm going to put it like this. No, you had a, a I would give it a crossroad energies of you fully deciding on what you want to do. Because, you know, she got the car next to her and then she got the glow right there. So she planning on hopping into her RV and just traveling the glow. Right now she's sitting deciding, do I stay, do I go type energy. And she going. Just believe it because you had the Ten of Swords and you feel it. Deciding to walk away. Once you decide to be like, I'm going. 
Trust the universe, the universe bless you, and you go on about your business. The chariot, I told you, chariot. That balanced, uh, fully gliding energy going straight in the direction that you need to be going because at the bottom of the deck, we got the two of cups. You running straight head first to that love. It could be love with another person, but mainly that love and co-creation with spirit. So the chariot, but Photius. So you balancing out all energies to move forward straight into this connection with spirit or with a person. Because I'm hearing a person. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like we deserve some love. I feel like it. I feel like it. Okay, that's all we're going to pull out of those you guys. So yeah, let go of that old and, and, and open yourself up to this new. Let it go. Boom. Dive straight to it. And let, you know, the universe lead you into it, whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. Trust. Trust. So let's pull the thought tarot. Thought the tarot. To close out this reading, we're going to pull out the thought tarot. First chord, first chord. OG. First call we had was five of cups again, the disappointment energy. And the people, places, things, you know what I'm saying? Pain, hurts, and traumas. So you, you know, sing with yourself in your time, self time, and release and let it go. The emperor, big boss energy. Once you release and let it go, it's time to conquer. It is time to conquer everything that was meant for you. Past things that were only lessons. Now it's time to conquer. Wow. It's time to conquer. Universe with the fool and embrace this new beginning. You've learned some lessons, you know it. So now it's time to dive back into the fool energy, that trust and faith in the universe and diving into it here first because it's kind of like you got you did the plan, you understand, you learned the lesson. Now it's time to dive straight into this energy of the fool so you can conquer. You got the emperor and the fool. Wow, major, major. Arcana, um, major arcana, um, cards. We got the Emperor, that's that, ooh, Ace of Swords. So, yes, okay, the Emperor. I guess Phoenix right there. So, rising from the ashes to conquer everything. That darkness, they tried to overcome you, and then we had the Ace of Swords. You mentally, right now, you on point. You so focused and straight ahead, there's nothing that can really knock you. The only thing... You really dealing with is the disappointment, the sadness from the old, the past. But we healing it. So as we healing it, we conquering and we stand focused on the purpose and mission that God got for us. I'm talking about the Ace of Swords, powerful, beautiful card to let you know your focus is right. You are going the right way and keep focused on everything you want and truly need. Don't let that disappointment get to you. Don't let the pain get to you. Don't let none of that get to you because the universe is leading you right now. Stay focused. The Ace of Wands and all the cards we had before, I'm oh, definitely understanding. Next card, Prince of Swords. With at the bottom of the deck, we got lost. That'll be the last card. Prince of Swords. I pulled out the card for that one. This one means good too, so I'm gonna leave it there. Prince of Swords. Every part of Earth or the Fluorescent and fruition of elements here. I'm crying about a boy here with her this. Resembling a golden marble, you know, they 
This card symbolizes the function of bringing forth from the earth the vegetation, which is the substance of spirit itself. Wow. So connecting all of the spirit, wow, energy, wow. And then on the card, he on the chariot. Ain't that fucking wild? He's on the chariot. With a sword like that, like he bringing the energies that spirit give giving you and throwing it into the material. I mean, into the in the physical and making it material. So thoughts, ideas, dreams, goals, bringing it down into realization. Doing what you need to do. Stand in line with your purpose. Oh my God! With the Ace of Swords, so most definitely focus. Prince of Swords, ain't that a good one? Was that right? No, the Prince of Swords. That was the Prince of Swords. I thought that was the Prince of Pentacles. Prince of Swords, the airy part of air. This card typifies the intellect. The prince is seated in a chariot drawn by drawn by childlike face. The intellect. Mm. Let's go back one more time. I'm so fucked up in my head on my mom. I know I could be doing some wrong shit, but I don't even be doing that here. Ooh. Prince of Swords, the airy part of air, a young intellectual man full of ideas and designs, domin domineering, intensively clear, clever, clever but unstable, elusive, impressionable, influenced, harsh, malicious, plotting, unreliable, fanatic. But they basically just saying, with the Ace of Swords also, uh, at this time you just full of ideas from the universe, full of uh, downloads, and making sure you. Bringing those into the materialization. I mean, into the material. I ain't trying to be too proper. I'm just saying. Bringing it into the material. Not letting all that just, you know, stay in your head. And it become like a overthinking, overload of downloads and everything. Bringing that down into the material also. As I was saying before, so make sure you are doing it. Then the last card we had was Lust. And I don't know nothing about that, but I ain't doing it. The Lust. Ooh, Lust. Courage, strength, energy, use of magical power, 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 control of the life force, great love of air. So love, like I said, you being able to harness the energy of spirit and control it better, whatever it may be. You being able to have that control over all energies that you that, that might be in your aware that's in your awareness that you need to learn how to work with. Use of magical power. So you're doing good using your magical powers, control over the life force, knowing how to handle the great love or fear. And we got love coming in now. So it's some love coming in also. But the love with spirit is the biggest one first. The love for self is the biggest one first. And then once you make that, it becomes outside. I like that. Let me see if it's in additional, any, any additional meanings. This card was formerly called strength. It implies, however, not only strength, but joy and strength. It implies, however, not only strength, but joy and strength exercised. That light is a little too bright. <laughs> the seven heads of the lion, because the lion do got seven heads, are respectively that of an angel, saint, poet, adulteress, warrior, satyr, and lion serpent. The central figure is the woman who has surrounded her, her has surrendered herself to all the forces of creation who rides astride of the beast in her left hand she holds the reins and as representing the passion which unifies them in in her right hand she holds a loaf a loaf the cup of flame with love and death in this cup are mingled the elements of the sacrament of the aeon and the aeon is the universe i think in the background are the bloodless figures. In the background. Let's see. 
are the bloodless figures of the saints on whom this mirage travails. This mirage travails for their whole life has been absorbed into the Holy Grail. Yeah, coach, like I said before, that co-creation of spirit and, and knowing how to harness and use these energies that the universe have gave, I mean, given you, especially with ISIS, horrors coming out, you know, yeah, that's a lot, y'all. It's, it's been a pretty deep, long read, and it's been a powerful read. So thank you, Absolute Source. Thank you, Spirit Guides, and all the divine beings. Anything that might have negatively transference or affect us throughout this read, I ask that it be removed and cleansed. Amen. And amen. everything is for the highest good and harm and none. I see make all energy that need be sent back to anyone that watches this and in love and healing energy for the highest good and harm and none. Amen. And amen. Thank you for this read. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank you for watching. If you need a personal message, um, email me at insomniadreams, ALC at gmail.com. So we can um figure something out. Rick it also. But yeah, it's been a powerful, powerful message. Embrace the new beginning. It's coming. 5808 on the clock, as I said. Thank you. Have a blessed abundant time.